Books, they're the things that help keep us company during the pandemic, but now many classics are getting a critical second look for their stereotypes. Erin McLaughlin has more. Anyway, you take off for the powder room. They're the films that once defined an era, now under scrutiny. You just me! From Mickey Rooney's depiction of an Asian man in Breakfast at Tiffany's to Fred Astaire's blackface routine in Swing Time. Decades old scenes once celebrated, now criticized by some as racist and sexist. This month, TCM is launching a series to reframe old classics, including Gone with the Wind. Seeing it through a different prism focusing on the parts of the movie that are problematic, tackling them head on without fear, uh, and addressing them. While some are adding context, others pulling content completely. Dr. Seuss Enterprises stomping publication of six book titles, including The Cat's Quizzer and To Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street, classic shell for their sometimes racist imagery, leading to cries of cancel culture. Yesterday, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy tweeting he still likes Dr. Seuss. Do you like green eggs and ham? Backlash now driving Dr. Seuss book sales, with Cat in the Hat topping Amazon's bestseller list. Just in the last year, multiple iconic brands and institutions have been renamed. Others, including Disney Plus, adding warnings. For a Muppets film starring Johnny Cash featuring the Confederate flag. Some arguing pulling the work is not the answer. We need to have nuanced, detailed, thoughtful conversations. It's just a question of if we will actually allow ourselves to have uh, those conversations. And rather than banish it away, why don't we think about what we can do with it? Tonight, across the country, some of those Hollywood classics now getting a fresh screening. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News, Los Angeles. Still ahead, new 